So uh, thank you for attending my session today. Uh, my name is Anthony Pham, and I am the product support manager here at Quizcom. In this session, I will show you how to use Cascading Look App for Office 365. The basic function of Cascading Look App app is to allow you to create lookup columns that automatically filter choices based on values from other lookup columns. Additionally, the app allows you to link to list columns in other sites. Both of these features are not available in your standard out-of-the-box SharePoint lookup fields. In my demo, I would use Cascading Lookup to create region, country, city lookup columns in a retail store list on my main site. Uh, these Cascading Lookup columns link to list columns located in uh, another subsite. So uh, this product is an app that you can uh, download and purchase from the Office 365 store. So you can use it uh, in your uh, Office 365 environment. So uh, a little bit about uh, Quizcom. Before I move on, um, uh, Quizcom is one of the top providers of SharePoint add-ons with uh, 5,000 customer over 5,000 customers worldwide. Our product catalog includes um, uh, over 50 products, and uh, I think I see a question from Penny. Uh, yes, it also supports on-premise. So uh, you can also add our app to your app catalog for on-premise, and you can add your app uh, there too. So um, each product in our product catalog uh, solves a SharePoint challenge. And uh, let's all be in agreement. We all face a lot of SharePoint challenges every day. So the challenge I want to discuss with you today is um, uh, how to get more out of lookup fields because uh, out of the box uh, lookup fields they're great to get you started but uh, they're uh, they could offer so much more which I'll, I'll show you today so what makes cascading lookup app different from out of the box SharePoint uh, lookups so, uh, first off uh, unlike out-of-the-box lookup columns, with Cascading Lookup App, you can now create a lookup to a remote list, which is located in various uh, subsites in your site collection. Also, now you can easily filter your lookup fields by other fields on the same form, such as uh, the most common scenario, uh, region, country, city. Uh, Filter lookup by view. When you create a lookup field, you can have it filtered by a selected view or of, of a reference list. And you can quickly create new items in the lookup list. You, um, you can create um, it directly from the new or edit form of your current edited item. So no need to close that uh, form and go to the lookup list. This saves a lot of time. So let me show you how this app works in these slides and I'll, uh, I'll display a, a demo, a live demo on my Office 365 environment afterwards. So here you can easily create or edit existing cascading lookup columns by opening the app homepage. Uh, SharePoint end users should be very comfortable configuring this app because the app homepage is in the ribbon of your SharePoint lists or library. So you can easily create uh, new or edit existing uh, lookup columns. This is a screenshot of the app homepage where I'm creating a lookup uh, to list in other sites. So all um, filtered fields um, can be filtered uh, by another field um, by selecting this option here. 
And you can also filter by list view. So if you have a custom uh, view in your, uh, your list and want to use it, you can certainly do that with uh, Cascading Lookup app. Okay, so let's uh, get to my live demo. So uh, here's my main site called Retail Stores. Um, I already have casting, Cascading App installed uh, simply by going to the Office 365 um, store and, and, and adding it there. Uh, now I'll just uh, create um, a custom list called um, uh, Store Locations. So I'll do that very quickly and show you step by step uh, of the way how you would uh, use Cascading Lookup App. So there, this is my um, custom list. It's just a list with a title field. So what I want to do now is um, I want to uh, use Cascading Lookup app to create region, country, city lookup columns. These columns link to columns located in another site. So uh, these columns that I uh, that I mentioned, I'm going to link uh, to are located in another site called Cascading Lookup homepage. So I'll go there right now. I can see them in my recent uh, changes section in my left navigation. Here I have region, country, and city. Each of these lists are just custom lists, starting with uh, region. It is just a custom list with the region names column. And this list is not linked to any other lists. The next level is the country list. In this list, I have a column for the country name and a lookup column that links back to the region list and displays the region that country is in. Finally, I have the city list. In this list, I have a column for the city name and a lookup column that links back to the country list and displays the country that city is in. Now I will go back to my retail store site and create the region, country, and city cascading columns in my store location list. So as I showed you in the previous slides, uh, all you have to go to is the ribbon and uh, click on the cascading lookup app columns. Okay, so, so I have my app setting screens here. Can everyone see me again? Great. So now I'm gonna create uh, a new cascading lookup column. I'll call my first column is called region and uh, I'll be looking up to my main site which was called uh, casting lookup homepage and I will be looking up the region list and I'll be getting the data from the region name column. I don't want to apply any filtering yet so I'll leave all these um, fields default. I do have this the option to also allow for multiple values and I can add new items to the lookup list as well. So I'll click I'm done. Okay, so let's see how this looks. So I'll open my new item form. And as you can see, this looks very different from uh, an out of the box uh, uh, lookup field. As you see, here's my lookup. I have my uh, I have the ability to search for items too. 
So it's very useful if I have a large inventory of items. I don't have to scroll through everything. I can just use the search filter. I can also add items to the, the lookup list. No need to close this form and, um, and go to that lookup list. I can just do it right from the form. There you go. Okay, so let's continue and add uh, another uh, cascading lookup column. Okay, so I'll add my country column and I'll be looking up to my remote site. And I want the data from, sorry, country. And I want the data from the column country name. So I do want to apply filtering to this. So I'll select region. And now I'll show only items where region equals region. Okay. And that's it. I'll click save. And let's, uh, let me show you how this looks. I'll open the new item form again. And I have my regions drop down. Let me select North America. This should populate the country lookup with um, only countries in North America. If I change the region option to another region, let's say South America, the country drop down will be populated with uh, countries from South America. Okay, and as mentioned before, I can add new items to the country uh, list from this form. Okay, and my final step, I will add the city field. I'll look it up from my remote site. I'll get data from the city list and the content will be from the city name column. And I do want filtering applied. So this will be, uh, the information will be from the country list and it will source to the city name. Oh, sorry. Should be country. There we go. And I want to allow, uh, just for this field, I'll allow multiple values and I'll show you what that looks like. So let me select my uh, region, my country. And as you can see, this populates with all my um, uh, cities. And I can select multiple cities. If I change uh, my region, uh, let's say to Asia, uh, Asian countries will populate in the country um, field. And so will cities. So cascading lookup is a great application for creating uh, columns with link to, which links to different sites and creating columns with filter based on uh, choices of other columns. And I was able to easily do that in a couple of minutes. Go back to my slides. So a uh, quick summary of what I showed you during this session, uh, Cascading Lookup allows you to create 
cross-site lookups. These lookups can cascade. You can also filter lookups by view. And you can create, quickly create new items in the lookup list. And this is supported on SharePoint Online as well as on-premise. All you would have to do is go to the Office 365 store and, um, and, and add it to your app catalog and you can uh, use it right away. For more details, please visit our uh, product page here. If you have any questions, please email me at anthony at quizcom.com and I can certainly answer any of your questions. And that's all. That ends my uh, presentation. I hope you like it. Uh, if you have any additional questions, just, uh, please let me know. I also have uh, this session recorded. So if you like to um, um, uh, a copy, um, a link to the, the recording, just email me and I can certainly send it to you, okay? So that ends my presentation. Thank you everyone for, uh, for, um, for attending.